The Unseen Goal Once upon a time, in a quaint little town with cobblestone streets and friendly faces, stood a charming old bookshop owned by Miss Sophia. This bookshop, nestled among other beautiful stone buildings, was a sanctuary of wisdom and peace, with its cosy interior lit by a soft natural light that found its way in through beautiful ornate windows. One afternoon, as the old street lamp outside began to cast a golden glow over the cobbled path, a young man entered Miss Sophia's bookshop. The bell above the door chimed gently, announcing his arrival. Miss Sophia looked up from a book she was examining and her eyes came alive with the recognition of a face she had not seen for a long time. Oh my, is that you, Marcus? It has been a long time, she exclaimed, her voice warm and alive with surprise. It is lovely to see you. Yes, it's been quite a few years, hasn't it? The young man said. I always used to enjoy coming here and the little chats we had. Oh yes, I remember your visits well. You always told me about your football and you had such dreams. The young man, now towering and athletic, smiled wistfully. Yes, I did, didn't I? Well, it's worked out well so far. And I'm still playing football and I'm even playing for a professional team. Oh, that is wonderful to hear, Marcus. I'm very happy for you. It was always your dream. Miss Sophia invited him to sit down, preparing a cup of tea with the same warmth and care she had always shown. As he settled into one of the comfy chairs, Marcus shared his journey, speaking of trials and triumphs. Yet beneath his achievements lay a layer of stress and uncertainty. It's not easy trying to make a career in such a competitive sport. He confided, his brow furrowed with concern. Miss Sophia listened intently, her expression one of empathy and understanding. After a moment of silence, she spoke, her voice carrying her usual air of wisdom and understanding. I remember the joy in your eyes when you spoke of football as a boy. That love for the game was pure and full of wonder. No matter how challenging the path becomes, always hold on to that joy. It's the flame that lights your way. Marcus nodded, feeling a sense of peace he hadn't realised he'd been missing. It was then that Miss Sophia, with kindness in her eyes, reminded him of a memory from his youth. Do you remember, my dear, when you once walked into this very shop and found me sitting with my eyes closed? The bell had given its gentle chime, and as I opened my eyes and saw you, I explained that I was just meditating. And you said, What's meditation? She smiled as she recalled the moment with fondness. The memory also brought a smile to his face a moment from his childhood that felt both distant and warmly familiar. Miss Sophia leaned forward slightly, her gaze kind and understanding. Perhaps meditation could help you now, just as it has always helped me find my centre and peace. Amidst the whirlwind of life, she suggested. With the gentleness that was her nature, Miss Sophia continued. You know, Marcus, meditation is used by many athletes as it improves focus, reduces stress and brings about a sense of calm, all of which are invaluable both on and off the field. Seeing the spark of interest in his eyes, Miss Sophia stood up and walked behind a bookshelf. She returned a moment later, holding a book, its cover worn with the love of many readings. The power of peace of mind, she announced, placing this treasure gently into his hands. I'd like you to have this, she said warmly. Consider it a gift from someone who believes in you. This book may guide you in finding the peace and focus you seek. This book, if you will allow it, will take you on a personal journey through understanding how to live in harmony with your thoughts, to embrace the present moment fully, and to find calm amidst the chaos of competitive sports. It teaches about the beauty of simplifying your mind's landscape, finding clarity in your goals and the gentle power of mindfulness to enhance performance. The techniques and insights within these pages, Miss Sophia explained, could help you manage stress, improve your focus on the field, and even aid in your physical recovery. Oh, the thought of you reading this book is quite the inspiration, Marcus. This book has given me so much over the years. As you step into its wisdom, you will discover ways to harness your thoughts turning them from distractions into pillars of strength and motivation. 
you will have a new and powerful understanding that will help you every time you step onto the field. As he gently flipped through the pages of the book, a profound realisation dawned on him. Miss Sophia's words and the book felt exactly what he needed. The notion that the overwhelming stress clouding his love for football could begin to dissipate filled him with a sense of hope that he hadn't felt in a while. It was as if destiny had led him back to her bookshop, just when he needed it most. As their conversation drew to a close, they both rose from their seats, feeling a wonderful blend of nostalgia and newfound hope. In this moment, Marcus felt great appreciation for the love and wisdom Miss Sophia had shown to him. He leaned over, enveloping her in a hug that was both gentle and encompassing. In that embrace, a silent exchange of gratitude and support passed between them. His hug conveyed a world of thanks, a gesture embodying the profound impact Miss Sophia had on him. Thank you, he whispered, his voice soft but laden with emotion, acknowledging not just the wisdom she had imparted, but the light she had rekindled in his heart. Miss Sophia, for her part, returned the embrace with equal tenderness, a motherly figure offering solace and encouragement. Her hands, small yet firm, patted his back in a comforting rhythm, a simple act that seemed to imbue him with courage and determination for the road ahead. As they stepped back, their eyes met, sharing a moment of unspoken understanding. In that brief exchange, both felt a deep sense of connection, a reminder that kindness, wisdom and a heartfelt hug can indeed make all the difference in the world. As Marcus stepped out of the bookshop, Back into the golden light of the evening, he felt so different. Different in a way that was difficult to describe, but different in a way that felt better than he had felt for as long as he could remember. Miss Sophia, watching from the window, smiled softly, knowing that another soul had found the guidance needed to navigate life's journey. Marcus would continue his journey as a professional football player, but now armed, not only with his talent and determination, but with the wisdom and insight that had been gifted to him in Miss Sophia's bookshop, a place where dreams are nurtured and souls are healed.